Hey, what's up guys? This is Tyler from the Harrington's and today I'm showing you how we shoot bridal details on a wedding day. Let's get into it. All right, so normally on a wedding day, we would shoot these details in front of a nice window with some window light. But for demonstration purposes today, we're just gonna do it right here on this table, just so I can demonstrate more of the camera movements and those types of things. So on a wedding day, the way that we like to approach the details is we like to let the photographer lead and we like to shoot right alongside of them. This helps it make so that we're super efficient on the wedding day and we don't have to do things twice, um, but make sure we both get the things that we need. So the best way to do this and to approach it is to make sure you talk to the photographer at the beginning of the day, ask them really nicely, kind of explain uh, what you wanna do, say something along the lines of, hey, is it all right if I shoot alongside of you while you're shooting details? I'll just jump in every now and again, grab a few shots and let you keep going. The most important thing is that you're not slowing them down because we are on a time crunch and a lot of times photographers sort of have a system and a flow to how they do the details. So your objective is to be able to get in there, get the shots you need and get out. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're talking about exactly how to get the shots that we need, how to get a lot of variety and how to get it really efficiently. So what we're working with today is we actually have an invitation suite here from English Tea Papery. She was nice enough to donate that to us for this video. So big thanks to her. And uh, we just kind of have a really basic setup here with some of the jewelry and actually Ash's ring. Um, so the way that we kind of work this on a wedding day is once the photographer gets to this point and she has everything down on the table, that's when I'll step in and say like, hey, is it okay if I grab a few shots of that? Most of the time they'll say, yeah, sure, no problem. So we're just gonna use this as sort of an example to show these camera techniques, but these camera techniques can be used across a variety of different things, a variety of different setups, um, but we're just gonna show with just this one today. So when we shoot details, we use two main stabilizers. We use the slider and we use the monopod. So we use these two kind of for different scenarios. We also use a couple different lenses. Uh, we use the 35, we use the 100 millimeter macro, and we use the 50. Um, now, combining all these different things together, you can get a big variety of shots in a really short amount of time. So let's jump right into it. The first thing we're going to talk about is the slider. When we're working with the slider, we want the camera to be just above the table here. So we're pointing down on these things. We don't want to be too level with them. And I'm going to show you three main techniques that we use. The first is just a simple straight across slide. So for this, all we do is we line up our slider here um, nice and close to the table and parallel uh, with, you know, with our objects here. Uh, we're gonna get our camera set here. And all we're gonna do is we're going to sort of frame this up the way we want. Now I'm using a 35 millimeter right now. Uh, and for this, we're gonna set the focus right in the middle. Um, we're shooting pretty shallow here around 2.2. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna do a few different passes, but we're just gonna go back and forth really nice and slow, nice and smooth. So uh, we're just gonna, you know, get a nice pass across here, showing all these details. And then we're going to go right back. So pretty simple, nice and easy. And then from here, we're actually just gonna leave this exact same position. We're gonna switch our lens um, and we're gonna switch over to the 100 millimeter macro just to give us some variety. So here we're going to, again, just kind of line up a nice straight slide that we want. And the objective here is to try and incorporate as many of the different details and textures and things like that all into one shot as possible. So. For this, I'm going to focus kind of right on this bracelet here. And then uh, with the macro, your slides are going to be a little bit shorter just because you're so much closer. But um, we're going to go ahead and get a nice smooth slide across here. And then right onto the lettering, which, you know, especially with something as well lettered as this, we want to make sure we show those little fine details. Okay. All right. So. Again, by using that same technique, just the straight across slide and two different lenses, we got two drastically different shots that we can cut together really nicely. Okay, so for this next shot, we're gonna go back to the 35. And this one is a little bit of, I like to call it like the angle shot. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rotate the head of our tripod here um, onto a bit of an angle. And we're gonna lock it off. And then we're pretty much gonna do the same thing, except now because we're kind of coming back and across, it's gonna be a completely different look, completely different feel. So again, we're gonna punch in and we're gonna get our focus on a um, 
point, kind of right in the middle of our frame. So that focus point, that focus is gonna drag across as we're pulling it, and the focus is gonna move across all the different elements, giving it a really cool feel. So we have our focus set, and we're going to go ahead and do, again, just a nice, simple slide right across. So we'll do it one way, then we go right back the other way. Awesome. So as you can see as we're doing this, the focus is pulling across, revealing all this information um, right in our nice shallow depth of field. So that looks really, really good. I like that a lot. And then the last technique with the slider is sort of a slide and a pivot. Um, so basically what we're gonna do for this one, same kind of deal. For this, I'm gonna focus right here on the, um, the lettering of this envelope. So I'm going to uh, zoom in again, grab my focus. Okay, so once we have our focus, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try and keep the center of the envelope in the center of our frame as we're sliding across. So we wanna make sure we're loosening up the, um, the head on our tripod. And then we're just gonna do, we're gonna slide across and as we're sliding, we're gonna be rotating the head to keep that right in the middle. So it looks a little bit like this. So this kind of a thing takes a little bit of practice and sometimes you don't get it perfectly on the first try. So again, we're just wanna try and keep a nice consistent speed and a nice consistent pan. Um, and if you can't get it on the first try, that's okay, don't get frustrated. I'm not, I'm not really nailing it right here, but you can just do a couple of different times across. There we go, that was a good one. And across. So again, this is just a really good way to show some emphasis to a specific thing, um, a really specific um, piece of what you're looking at here. So once you get better at this and you start practicing more, uh, you can just kind of start to see different things that are gonna look good and you really, every situation's a little bit different. So you kind of just uh, have to kind of read what's happening and just sort of employ all these different techniques. So um, for this, I wanna get a shot of this ring here. So I'm gonna kind of do a push and as I'm pushing across and at the end, I'm gonna kind of just do a little bit of a tilt here. So, um, and then you can go backwards the other way. And as you can see, you can just get a ton of different variety. And this is again, why it's really nice to have all these details kind of laid out. The more there are, the better, because there's just so much different texture and information coming into the frame all at once. All right, so that is the slider. Now we're going to move on to the monopod. So with the monopod, um, again, we're all about speed and all about efficiency. Um, we want to get as many different types of shots as we can as quickly as possible. So for this, I'm actually going to switch over here to the 50 millimeter lens. That's sort of like my go-to lens whenever I'm shooting with the monopod. And um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to shoot straight down on on these things here. So. For this, you want to um, you know, get a, your monopod out across as much top down as possible as you can. Looking straight down, we're gonna grab our focus here. And again, here's where we wanna just get a bunch of different shots as possible. The first thing you wanna do is just grab a nice static shot. It's something I feel like it's easy to forget because we always wanna have movement, but sometimes it's nice to just have a nice static shot. So from here, we're gonna add just a little bit of a pivot and we're gonna come right back to the middle and hold. Okay, so that's good. So we have a static shot, we have the pivot shot, and this is all from overhead. And then the nice thing about the monopod is you can move up and down. So we wanna move down, get nice and low, get on eye level with the, uh, the different details here. And I'm actually gonna shoot right through this veil using this in my foreground here. Um, and I'm gonna get a nice rack focus shot. I'm gonna rack focus right back onto the necklace here and then back across to the ring right so again these are really simple shots we have a lot of movement happening with the slider so with the uh with the monopod we can be a little bit more subtle so uh we'll get up here again we're propping the monopod against our arm here if you haven't seen my monopod video uh, go ahead and check that out where i show all the techniques that we use whenever we're using the monopod so here's one of my favorites where I'm going to focus on the closest thing to me, which is going to be this bracelet right around here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lean forward as my focus moves forward. I'm going to stop right on these earrings here. So actually we can go all the way from the ring and we're going to pull our focus 
all the way across back onto the bracelet. Again, so you've got the head nice and loose, just a nice push forward, settle on there. Okay, so the last thing we can do to add variety is to switch up our lens. So I'm gonna switch over here to the 100 millimeter macro. And here's where we really wanna pick off all those really small fine details um, that really just um, bring the whole thing to life. And again, we're trying to think in our mind about our edit. Um, you know, we know what shots we have with the slider, we know what wide shots we have, so we wanna get you know, a few little details here. So here, uh, for something like this, um, you might wanna look for small details in the writing. So for example, this here, it says um, Richmond, Virginia, right? Which might be the, where the wedding is taking place. So that's a good little detail that you can look for to add to your film. So again, racking focus across the letters and landing right here on Richmond. Um, we can get, again, we get back over top here, get a shot of the ring. Again, so we want to try and think, we want a bit of a static shot, so we want to hold our shot for just a few seconds to have a nice static shot. And then we can just incorporate a little bit of movement. Okay, so as you can see, we got a huge variety of shots here in just a little bit of time. So it's all about being efficient and it's all about knowing uh, what you need and what the situation calls for. So for this uh, situation, we had a lot of small details. So using the macro lens makes a lot of sense. Um, but you know, sometimes you have bigger details like the shoes or things like that and you may not necessarily need to use the macro lens. So it's all about um, just taking all these different techniques and combining them to get a variety of shots and to really just tell the story and to capture all those little moments. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this inside look and how we shoot details on a wedding day. Thanks again to English Tea Papery for donating this awesome invitation suite. I'll have a link to all of her information below. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below as well. And until next time, this is Tyler from the Harringtons.